the roots of Catholic education in Chattanooga are deep. I'm well versed in its history back to 1876 with the Good Sisters of St. Cecilia, the Dominican Sisters. If you look at business people, if you look at the leaders in our community, many of them are Catholic or maybe they weren't Catholic but they were educated at Notre Dame High School. They bring that to the community, that strong sense of what we are about in the Catholic schools and it permeates what they do in their adult lives. Notre Dame, St. Jude's, OPH have a legacy of good quality Christian Catholic people. So it's not just the quality education, it's the kind of person that comes through these doors that organizations, the community look for. I don't know how many scientists, lawyers, doctors, I know them all that have come through Notre Dame High School, but over a hundred men and women have answered the call to serve our Lord as consecrated brothers, sisters, priests, and deacons. I don't know of any other school in Chattanooga that can touch that. I think it's just a legacy of excellence. Although I am not personally Catholic, I've heard many times that our academics competes with anyone in the Chattanooga, Tennessee area. When anyone asks me, like, where do you go to school? I'm always proud to say Notre Dame because it's a very credible and like close-knit family sort of school. There's cliques everywhere, but I mean, the cliques at Notre Dame are like, it's one big click. <laughs> and so basically it's everyone's friends, everyone knows everyone. And I think that family construct of that Christ is one body. It's like that embodies Notre Dame. My name is V. Lynn Jensen. I go to school at OLPH in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and this is my buddy Victoria. We get a buddy that's six grades below us, and since I'm in eighth grade, my buddy's in second grade. In religion class, we learn mostly about God, and um, we learn about what we're going to do, like First Holy Communion or Reconciliation and we just learn about holy things. I think it gives our older students a sense of responsibility and ownership and trying to help our kids uh, form their ideas for later in life and, and to help them through projects. We are so blessed. We have kids from the time they're three till the time they're in the eighth grade. And so we know the family, we know the story, but even coming from the feeder schools or the foundation schools to Notre Dame. We have such open dialogue. Notre Dame being the only Catholic high school in Chattanooga was a great integrator uh, uh, of folks from various parishes and backgrounds. Uh, I'm proud that Notre Dame was the first to integrate civilly uh, and even before the United States made that uh, a requirement by law. I think we need to tell our story better we have got a beautiful story. In Chattanooga, we have three beautiful stories. And I think we need to tell them better. I think, I think, and, and we're gonna need support to do that. But we're not very good at tooting our own horn and, and that kind of thing. But I think we need to tell our stories better. We can't just rely on our laurels, although they give us pride. We have to continue to prepare for the future. Uh, that Notre Dame will be, continue to be well situated uh, to uh, mold students uh, in the Catholic faith to go out and make a difference in the world.